What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are taking a look at one of the most unique commando weapons in all of Fallout 76. We have the Fixer. Starting off over the weapon, this is it. This is my 3-star legendary, the Fixer that we're using for the video, and the main legendary effect is the quad effect, which is quadruple ammo capacity, has a 25% faster fire rate, and it also has the hits have a chance to generate a stealth build. Now, the Fixer has a hidden and non-removable mod, which provides several additional bonuses. Starting off, it gives us a stealth bonus equal to three pieces of shadowed armor. It increases movement speed by 20% while sneaking. We have the increased damage by 20%, and we also have the naming overdrive, the fixer, of course. This fixer is absolutely insane for commando builds. Over in the module, we're using is the prime automatic receiver, aligned long barrel, forceful stock, perforating magazine, reflex sight, dot suppressor, and the fixer paint. Now, to get the fixer itself, you must complete the quest Wolf in Sheep's Clothing. To start these series of quest lines, you must read the poster in the train station that talks about how a sheep squatch ate my brother. You can also get the plan to the fixer by completing the event Encrypted, which reading these posters will lead you down to. To that event. Over in the build, these are all the base stats that make up my in-game commando build that we're using for the video, so if you want to use the exact build I'm using, this is the start. These are all the base stats with the legendary perk cards equipped. Over in the normal perk cards, these are all the normal perk cards that make up my in-game stealth commando build that we're using for the video. Starting off in strength, we have three, this who can have blocker maxed out, take 45% less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in perception, we have 15, and this who can have all the commando cards maxed out to get the max amount of damage out of this build. We have tank killer maxed out, your rifles and pistols ignore 36% armor and have a 9% chance to stagger. We have concentrated fire maxed out, VATS target slims, focus fire to gain high accuracy and damage per shot. Over in endurance, we have 6 and this one can have Kinfiend at 2 stars. Any kims you take lasts 60% longer, we are taking overdrive and psycho buffs in this video. We have fireproof maxed out, take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have radical maxed out, the greater the rads, the greater the strength, a max plus 5 to strength. Over in charisma, we have 9 and this one can have lone wonder maxed out. When adventuring alone, take 20% less damage and gain 30% AP regen. We have field surgery maxed out, stim packs and right away will now work much more quickly. We have tinderized are maxed out. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in intelligence, we have 3 and this one can have nerd rage maxed out. While below 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% to damage, and 15% AP regen. Over in agility, we have 15 and this one can have action boy maxed out. Action points regenerate 45% faster. We have adrenaline maxed out. Gain a plus 10% to max 60% to damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have covert operative maxed out. Your range sneak attacks do an additional 50% sneak attack damage. We have escape artist maxed out. Sneak to lose enemies and run no longer affects still. And we have Gun Fu maxed out. That swaps targets on kill with a 10% to 20% to then 30% to damage to your next three targets. Over in luck, we have 15, and this one can have Bloody Mess maxed out. 50% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a gore red pace. We have Better Criticals maxed out. Vatch Criticals now do plus 100% to damage. We have Serendipity maxed out. While below 30% health, can a 45% chance to avoid damage, no power armor. We have Starch Genes maxed out. You'll never mutate from rads, and right away will never cure your mutations. We have Critical Savvy maxed out. Critical hits now only consume 55% of your critical meter, and we have four leaf clover at one star. Each hit vats the chance to fill your critical meter. But these are all the normal perk cards making my in-game commando build. And now let's get into my legendary perk cards. Over in the legendary perk cards, these are all the legendary perk cards that help make my in-game commando build. Starting off in intelligence, we have that at two stars. We have endurance maxed out, strength at one star, luck at two stars, far flung fireworks at two stars, and follow through maxed out. These are all the legendary perk cards. And now let's get into my armor, my mutations. Starting off over the mutations, these are all the mutations that we're using for the build. We have adrenal reaction, bird bones, eagle eyes. Egghead, Healing Factor, Marsupial, Sky Skin, and Speed Demon. Over in the armor, what we're using is a full set of Unyielding Gear, which gives us a gain up to plus 3 to all stats except Endurance when low health, and we are a low health blade build, so that is absolutely fantastic. But this is it, this is my entire fixer loadout and how to get it, and now let's get into some demonstrations. To begin our demonstrations with the all-powerful fixer, we've made our way over to Vault 51 to my arch nemesis, the level 75 Scorched Overseer that goes by the name Nancy. And we're just gonna take out Nancy's friends real quick, we might get a little bit more damage towards her. There we go. And just like that, Nancy is no more. Next up, we have the myth, the legend, the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name of Chad. We're just going to get really close to Chad real quick. And we're going to obliterate. And just like that, Chad has no longer a head. Now we've made our way over to the West Tech Research Center because there is a ton of super mutants out here that need to fill the wrath of the Fixer. And there we go. They've just been assassinated. We are covert operatives sneaking through everything. I hear the little beeping going. Oh god, there he is. Just obliterate that face. Okay, absolutely fantastic. And the cool thing about the quad is we get like 80 ammo so you can just unleash the beast. Look at that. Goodbye, guys. Okay, and with gun food, they auto lock onto anything. God dang, I feel like I'm in the Matrix. All right, we've got a warlord over here. Just gave him maybe one or two shots. Okay. Oh my 
God, um, um, that super immune is no more. The next wasteland sickle on our list for the administrations is one of the most foul creatures in all of Fall 76. We have the level 100 Myler Queen that goes by the name Mrs. Krabs. We're gonna start by blasting her in the face real quick. Maybe we can get her attention to get on over here. There we go. And now it's time to, of course, obliterate. And looky there, goodbye, Myler Queen. Oh my God, and she got me too. <gasps> nope, nope, I survived it. There we go. Goodbye, you stupid. Stupid Myler Queen. Now for our flying target, we have one of the most vicious creatures in all of Fallout 76. My level 75 Scorched Beast that goes by the name Charlie. We're just gonna shoot at her, make sure she comes down here. That way we can just lock onto her and absolutely destroy her. There we go, here we go. Say goodbye, Charlie. There we go, right out of the sky. And Charlie crash landed over there. If you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over one of the most powerful energy weapons in all of Fallout 76, the Tesla rifle. So if you want to check it out, I'll link it in the screen right now. You see that? That is my Tesla rifle video. Ha, ha, ha.